Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you a setup for electrolysis of water. By the way, electrolysis is the use of electric current to drive non-spontaneous reactions. Reactions which cannot occur by itself. They need some conditions such as current to occur. So electrolysis of water means that we are going to use current to force this water to produce hydrogen gas and oxygen gas in the laboratories. But we know that water is a poor conductor of current or bad conductor of current. So we are going to dissolve some electrolytes in water for easy flowing of gases. So this is a setup for electrolysis of water. So you have to take this apparatus, which will act as electrolytic cells. A special apparatus where electrolysis is going to be taken. So in this video, we are going to see how you, we can obtain oxygen gas and hydrogen gas in the laboratories. So this is step number one. Then after we have to take two test tubes. One of these will collect oxygen and the another one will collect hydrogen gas. So you put like this one. Then after we have to take electrodes. So these are uh, subsistence that allow current to flow. It is what we call electrode. So these are two electrodes in which one will produce oxygen gas and another one will produce hydrogen gas. Then after we have to take water. But we say that water is a bad conductor current so we need to take some salts so this is a salt of sodium chloride make sure you dissolve it Just put some salts to make water be a good conductor of current. Make sure you dissolve it. Then I take another salt, I dissolve it. So I have to fill water in this test tube.
So one of this is going to collect oxygen gas and another one is going to collect hydrogen gas. So this one it is a source of current. So the use of current to drive non-spontaneous reactions. So I'm going to connect it. So oxygen gas and hydrogen gas is collected by downward displacement of water. So we are going to see that oxygen is going to collect it upward. So you will start to see some reactions. So here it is hydrogen gas is collected and that this way it is oxygen gas which is collected. So at this point it, it is hydrogen gas which is collected upward and at this point it is oxygen gas which is collected by downward displacement of water. So but you can ask yourself why this one it is hydrogen and why at this point it is oxygen gas. So let's see the reactions. So I mean dissociation of water it will, it will end up giving two moles of hydrogens and one mole of oxygens. So here it is two moles of hydrogens that is collected and here it is one mole of oxygen which is collected. That that's why you observe the difference between this one and this one. Thank you so much. So don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you so much.